Tonight, Paris remains a city on edge. Mourners gathering here at the Place de la Republique, laying flowers, everything calm, and then suddenly, panic sets in. A rush, screams, thousands begin running. A stampede begins. Police say fireworks being set off were to blame for the chaos. Crowds trampling on the carefully laid memorials, falling down right onto the candles, sprinting as teams of police approach, guns raised, peering around the squad cars. This all comes as tonight there is an all-out manhunt now underway. Police chasing clues, this car being towed near the scene of one of the Paris attacks. And just outside the city, another car found three Kalashnikov automatic rifles inside. The discoveries come just as this new video emerges, capturing the moments French police go head-to-head -head against the terrorist gunmen who inflicted their horror inside that concert hall. Time magazine obtaining video of the terrifying scene unfolding in real time Friday night. From silence in the street to suddenly a barrage of bullets. Officers crouch behind their police cars, carefully approaching the suspects. They take aim, then shoot. Then the heavy gunfire ensues, sparks in the streets, more than a dozen shots. Innocent bystanders can be seen running for cover. Photographer Patrick Zachman captured the images. I heard uh, the noise, I mean the sound of a woman uh, screaming, uh, screaming, uh, aidez moi, aidez moi, so help me, help me. And just above the officers, the concert hall, sirens blaring, and then a flash. Witnesses inside reported the attackers yelling, Allahu Akbar, God is great, yelling Syria and Iraq too. And in front of the stage, the American band playing, but suddenly the gunfire drowns the music. One singer appearing frozen, the drummer taking cover. Behind that concert hall, hostages desperately trying to escape through emergency exits, even the windows above. And hanging from those windows, one woman who tells everyone she's pregnant. The wounded hobbling down below, others being dragged away from the gunfire. Vous plaît, qu qui Please, passe? what's going on? One person yells. Ah? They're shooting on us. They're shooting on us. Someone responds. I'm here, baby. I'm here. A loved one calls to another as more shots are fired. This is now the deadliest attack here in France since World War II. And with ISIS claiming responsibility, we now know it was a highly planned killing spree. Six separate attacks. Three teams of terrorists, the attackers wearing identical suicide belts. And tonight here, a clearer portrait of those three hours of terror. The first of the attacks starting at 9.20 p.m. outside the stadium. A suicide bomber blowing himself up in the middle of a soccer match. Five minutes later, 9.25 p.m., four miles away, gunmen in a black car opened fire at two restaurants, killing 15. I was holding on to a woman on the floor with me, and I, I realized she wasn't breathing. Then at 9.32 p.m., a block away, the shootings at another restaurant, killing five. Four minutes later, the gunman opening fire on a third restaurant, hitting diners on a terrace, killing 19. Four more minutes go by, and a suicide bomber detonates his belt further down the street, seriously wounding one civilian. And in those same moments, the three men wielding AK-47 rifles were bursting into that concert hall as the band Eagles of Death Metal were playing. They begin shooting at concert goers one by one inside Bataclan Hall. Meantime, as all of this unfolds, two more suicide bombers detonating their belts outside the soccer stadium. And shortly after midnight, 12:13, police raid the concert hall, the attackers blowing themselves up. At least 89 murdered inside, carnage across the city. The deputy mayor telling me today they have never seen anything like it. But when you see the bullet holes straight through the windows of the restaurants that they drove by and fired in on innocent people, that's something that's entirely new. Yeah. I must say, this is not Paris. This is not Paris. You can see the bullet holes where they fired indiscriminately right through the windows of the restaurant while people were having dinner inside. They've now placed flowers here to remember the 15 victims in these two restaurants alone. And if you come across the street, you can actually see the memorial that's been growing uh, by the hour here in Paris. People coming out to all of these sites to remember uh, all of those who were lost. Including this young family bringing their little boy to light candles. But telling me paying tribute in this small way is still 
not enough. I don't think coming is enough. It's not enough to understand. We met so many families out across Paris today sharing that sentiment.